What'd you find? Oh my gosh, Gucci. Gucci. And another Gucci. Nice. Oh, let's see what size. Eight and a half B. Eight and a half B. What does B stand for? Here we go. There's two more big coats. Gucci shoes. No. Does Gucci shoes, two pair. Does B stand for bunions? If you have bunions on your feet? Hey everybody, it's Ford from This Old Find. Today we're at an amazing condo setting up a new estate sale for the week. I can't wait to show you guys. Come on in. And here we go. Look at this gorgeous condo. Walking in, we have the basement steps here and this great big dining room. A lot of furniture here that we're going to have to move around. I think we're going to get tables over here. Look at this lighted china cabinet. Wow. So many neat collectibles in here. That's really cool. Okay, so we have Christine starting here. Uh, we have a lot of furniture and smalls. I think our best bet is to get tables along this window. Here's a little sitting room off the kitchen with some furniture. And here's the big kitchen. Here's the master bedroom. There are so many clothes here, guys. Um, most fit brand new with tags. J. Jill pants, $89. A lot of nice clothes. Talbots, Chico's. A little bit of everything. So, all of this has to be removed, believe it or not, because the bathroom is where they're storing all of their stuff because they're still living here. So, we cannot have people through the bathroom threw all of their stuff into the closet. So what in the world do we do with all this stuff? Well, we're going to have to go buy clothing racks. Got Nike shoes here. Christine's working on moving this stuff away from the wall, and we're going to have tables along here. We have a three-car garage. The cars are not for sale. But I have to show you this rug collection. These are all rugs. Bless her heart, the homeowner carried them all from downstairs up. Looks like we have some Hummels in here. A lot of glass and crystal. Every drawer is full here. Look at this amazing box. Down here in the basement, we have one empty room that's gonna be lined with tables. And I'll show you why. Here's the uh, living area of the basement. A lot of empty boxes, more empty space, which is good. Here is the unfinished storage area. And wow, is it packed. Oh my gosh. Look at all these linens and towels lined up up here. Just endless amount. Boxes and boxes of just Random stuff. Looks like we have some dolls, vintage doll stuff down here. Who knows if there's going to be more toys. Have a little workstation. Oh, we got more. Don't you worry, we got more. Coming around here. Boxes of who knows what. This looks like to be Christmas. Florals. Do you need florals? We've got florals. More linens. Look at this, guys. What are we going to do? Floor to ceiling of boxes of who knows what. This is why we need every single table possible in the basement. Lamps and artwork. Any picture you'd ever want. More clothes. Way more clothes. Full of clothes we can't even get to. And a cedar chest full of clothes. Don't forget these two shelves right up the middle here. Then here's the basement bedroom. So also more areas for tables. A lot of great furniture here. Um, We've got another closet. This looks like the men clothes. And if you thought we were done, we got one more closet. Ta-da! Look at these closets. Guys, what are we going to do with all the clothes? Please, keep the tables coming. Keep the tables coming. We need them. Look at these boxes up here. Like, I have no idea what's in them. 
Like no idea. This one says sell antiques. Sell antiques. So I'm excited to go through there. Here's the stuff that was in the boxes in the dining room that said antiques on them. A lot of glassware and china stuff. Some of it is, of course, antiques. Ooh, I'm loving this glass. Look at that, like a bubble glass. We've only been here a few hours and look at all this progress. We got our tables going, already displaying stuff. Kitchen's coming along. Wow, this is cool stuff here. Looks great, guys. It's been about two hours, so let's go check on their progress in the basement and see if they got anything done. How's it going in here? Yay, good. Wow, okay, good. it's starting to fill out a little bit. Yeah, it's going good. It's going good. Hey Elvis, what you doing over there? I think we've come to the conclusion that this room is going to be the boutique and jewelry room and purse room in here. A lot of great natural sunlight. I uh, just moved out the couch, some other furniture uh, for tables. We have all this stuff to go through. Um, most of it is like there's purses, uh, handbags, wallets. There's a coach wallet, the coin purse there. There's jewelry and sunglass cases, uh, office supplies, more purses. There's so many purses in this house. And jewelry. This is just this is just the tip of the iceberg for jewelry. You can see a lot of watches and bracelets in this pile. So that's the next project we have to do. Do you guys like my glassware table? Look at all the fun colored glass we have. Sure is quiet in here. Get anything done? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paths everywhere. Oh, man. I'm starting to see a lot of progress down here. Oh, I see a little daylight through the shelves. They've been digging through here, haven't they? The lamps are gone. Jerry spent today cleaning off the top shelf here because obviously no one can reach it, so we have to have it all down. He did a good job doing that. So it's the end of day one and we made an absolute mess. Uh, just make more of a mess as we try to go through, dig, and organize. The clothes are the biggest problem with organizing. Just boxes and boxes, closets and closets, bags and bags of clothes. Hi everyone. So I have been sick the last two days. I have not been here to help them finish setting up the sale. Uh, but I am here today. It's our fourth day setting up. Today's a pricing day, and my team has been killing it. They've been working hard, working long, working extra hours to get the sale set up, and it looks amazing. Here's Harold Price in the garage. Look at it. Look at it, guys. I don't know if I showed you the garage earlier, but there has been two cars in here, and uh, our team worked out here yesterday. Look at the mount cardboard boxes. Oh my gosh. Look at all these boxes. Harold, you going through the fishing stuff, huh? All the lures? Yep. Any good lures there? Not nah, just, just kind of fly fishing stuff. Yep. Got some reels. Got our tools. And just some generic outdoor items. Hey, Harold. This thing's kind of nutty. <laughs> wow, this room looks totally different from when I left Tuesday uh, morning. Yeah. What are you guys working on? The expensive clothing? Yes, Burberry's, Coach, Gucci. Burberry's, Coach, Gucci. Wow, look at all the jewelry. More jewelry in here? Oh my gosh. Tons of it. Wow. Really old. There's a are these your expensive sunglasses? Yeah. Yes, and here. What brands do we have here? Coach, Coach Ellen Tracy, Lily Pulitzer, Brighton. Right. More um, over here. Um, what's the... Look at the finished basement. What an amazing difference. We've got everything down here, people. We've got lamps. We've got florals. We've got Christmas. And it all came together in a beautiful display. They had to spread out that pile of florals everywhere around the house because it was just in a massive pile in that storage part of the basement. We've got books. Lots and lots of books. 
They are pricing and it's coming along. Look at the boxes of clothes. Uh, I hate to have to do this, but there was just so many clothes. We didn't know where to go with it. So much money in clothes here. Most of it's high-end, uh, expensive women's clothes. Nothing really vintage here. But this room is all home decor. Got glassware and more vases and candles and lamps. A little bit of everything. Wow. This room was completely empty. Completely empty. And this is how much stuff we have pulled out of the storage area. We got dolls over here. We got some Barbie. Ended up finding some Beanie Babies. The basement bedroom is jam-packed. Lamps, lamps, lamps. wonder how many lamps are here. I might count how many lamps, but if I have time. Wow. Small pieces of furniture galore. Purses, just totes and totes of purses. And shoes that we had no room for. All really nice women's shoes. So here is the finished storage area. Wow. We left most of the linens up on the shelves because they were so organized already. But did a complete overhaul of some of the space. Organize these boxes of wood like items. Most of it is just generic items like wrapping paper and light bulbs. And we have six boxes of napkins. Got vintage VHS down here. Coming over here, this was the most work. Uh, they got all the florals put out everywhere in the house because the big pile is now gone. Ladies, find anything really expensive? Nope. Not really. Just some cool treasures, huh? Yeah. Mom, 82. 82 what? Lamps. No. There's 82, 82 lamps in this house. And is it on my, not light? Yeah, it's, it's going to be a bright estate sale. <laughs> we emptied out the master bathroom closet. Here's a majority of those clothes on racks and in boxes. We have a whole table of American Girl doll items. We have some dolls, some clothing, some furniture, these desks, these miniature American Girl dolls. She put 200 bucks on this whole suitcase of clothes. So expensive. Okay, this is it. We are all done. We are finished and ready to go for our sale tomorrow. Really happy with how this place turned out, uh, with all the tables and how we were able to display everything, especially the clothes and the bedroom and the closets and just everything we had to pull out. So much stuff. And we ended up having the perfect amount of space for everything we needed to have. Really unique items that we've come across, like these face faces on these candlesticks. I mean, jewelry. Does anybody need a bracelet or two or 500? This isn't even almost half the jewelry. We have more jewelry spread out everywhere throughout the house. Necklaces. The ladies bagged this jewelry. It took two of them all day to do it, and they did such a great job. And people are going to enjoy digging through all this stuff. I'm very proud of my vignettes I did. I love making little vignettes, especially with small, nice home decor. And the dining room turned out really nice also. More jewelry. Here we have the final layout of our good area. It took many forms, but this is the final way we're doing it. We're having a check out here. And someone back here watching the good stuff, watching all. We ended up finding some gold. Um, a lot of sterling, the expensive sunglasses. Some of these are $50, $25 a pair. A lot of nice jewelry and watches. The baseballs. Mostly these are the better coats, shoes, and purses. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and please stay tuned for more sales to come. Till next time, bye.